Hi guys, I'm in Hawaii. Actually, I might still have some chocolate on my lips. We just ate brunch and we came back from a lot of shopping. <laughs> this is a huge Hermes bag. Yes, it's so heavy. I'm leaving it on the floor. And this was my outfit today. Looks familiar. It's probably similar to what I wore a year and a half ago when I came. But yeah, I love the 22 mini. It just literally fits everything. It's a perfect travel bag. I just highly recommend the 22. This gorgeous skirt is from Daisy Silk. Of course, my favorite belt in the world, which is the Kelly belt. And this scarf is literally my favorite from Hermes, the um, Robe Légère. I have it in four colors and I'm only missing one. Okay, let's do some unboxing. The first thing I got, or actually this is more like the last thing, in honor of Valentine's Day. So they had these to give out to clients at the end of their shopping trip at Hermes, which is super nice. I thought that was a nice touch. Look there by my bedside, I have my proof of purchase. I'll be sharing the US prices. So, yeah, a long list. Oh, and I also got the red envelopes. This is the Lunar New Year, the Year of Dragon. And these are great. I have a set from my essay back in Vancouver already, but this is awesome to have another set. I give these out to my little nephews and nieces. And they're all different. They all have a different prosperous, um, Kind of like ribbon. It's so cool. These open like this. So you see the dragon tail here. And you open like this and you pull it at the same time. Little fishies and other cute little symbols here. And then in the front you can see how the dragon, the dragon's tongue, you can pull it back to close it. It's so neat. I love this. Oh my essay also gave me a little sample of the new Eau de Parfum, Oud Alaison. This is a new, um, a new men's, is it men's perfume or something? They don't have stock yet, but they have a, a sample to give out, so that's kind of nice. Okay, let's unbox this first. So this was something that um, I was kind of looking for. It's actually my husband's because I got this for his birthday and he's always been wanting a, not a new wallet per se, but he always kind of wanted something different because he's been using his other ones for a long time now, which, no surprise, this is one of their most popular and high-selling leather good piece. And here we go, it's the Calvi in Etoupe. They had three different colors to choose from, in black and gold and Etoupe, and my husband gravitated towards the A2, which is one of the most popular and most neutral great colors that they have. Yeah, it apparently fits up to 30 cards, according to my essay. Up next, here's another really familiar box. You guys know I love my scarves. I probably buy too many of them, and I have way too many of them, but I love collecting specific designs, the ones that I just am super attracted to, I buy multiples of. And ta-da, this one! <laughs> I own four of them already, like I said, and they actually had the black one in stock. I was so surprised. Uh, my essay saw me wear this in here, and she was like, oh, we might have the black one that you're missing. And so, there you go, how nice is it? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And like today, I literally just wore it like this on my body. I just tie it up here and I cinch it in with a skirt underneath. Or you could wear it many other ways like I've shown you, but yay, I finally, <laughs> I finally completed my collection of this gorgeous scarf. It's called Rub. Légère, as you can see there. It's so pretty, the black and white, oh my gosh. This is probably the easier one to make because it's only two colors, but it's so stunning. 
the line work on this is so stunning. Okay, so the Calvi was $3.95 and the scarves, they went up in price now, it's $5.50 US. Uh, which actually the scarves are more expensive in the US after conversion but I was missing this scarf in my collection so had to get it all right here's another box and in here is a really really nice pair of shoes that I saw online I think this is a new style and I was really interested because it's literally perfect so there you go, it's the perfect heel height, it's a very classic style, but I've never been able to buy this style, at least the original, because um, it never really fit my, my foot, like it was either too wide and too slippery, it, it just never worked, either the heel version or the flat version, but this time they have this new version which has the ankle strap. And the heel height is just about five, I think five or six centimeters, which is the perfect heel height, literally. Um, it's pretty secure on your ankle, so I never have to worry about this part not holding in my foot. And I size down slightly for this one because I usually do my true to size 37 in heels, and so I got it in a 37. This one is called the Ensemble. 50, oh, I guess it's 50 millimeter. There you go, that's the style code. And it looks like this. Can you see? It's really, really nice. So it looks like the Oran or the Oasis. Actually, it looks more like the Oasis because the Oasis has no ankle straps but it's way more secure and obviously it has still the Oran design. So I love, love, love this one so much. They had it in white as well. They sold out of the other colors. I think this was their last pair. This was the display pair actually, but um, I wanted to try it in black first since if this works out, I might get the white one as well. So. These were a really good price as well um, because, you know, the Orans are not too expensive. I don't know how much the Orans are here in the US, but this one was nine. Let's double check. I think it was nine. 960. So not too bad because it's way more secure and it still gives you the same classic Hermes Oran look. And I love the little bit of heel. It gives you a bit of boost and works perfectly with this outfit, actually. That's how they look like, guys. That's... I love these shoes. They're so beautiful and comfortable. Such a simple design, too. But the straps make a huge difference. Like they otherwise, the Orans or the Oasis, they never fit me. Because they're way, way too wide. They fly off my feet, but this is perfect. I love these. Ugh, I love these so much. And last but not least, <laughs> got a bit of ready to wear. So. I got three pieces of ready to wear. I had a list of ready to wear that I wanted to get, but they didn't have everything in stock. Um, so I ended up just buying an alternative that they have. So these are all alternatives of what I really wanted to begin with, but they're very, very nice. And I would have bought them anyway. Um, so, so this is just in a tissue paper. I'll just rip it. Yay! <laughs> Everything is in black and white, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so predictable. So this is actually an old season or last season's um, cashmere shirt. It's a shorter sleeve. I love, love the subtle, very simple details on the sleeves, on the trim, on the collar. Uh, it has a really nice knitted pattern and it's a cashmere and silk blend 
it's so pretty they still had this one I think this was the last one they had on display it was in my size so I just I just snatched it because it was perfect I missed out on this shirt from my own store um, but they still had it so that's the style code guys I got it in size 36 which um, I'm kind of in between 34 and 36 36 just gives me a little bit of leeway for you know not be too tight fitting and this was 1,900 so I will say the ready to wear in in the US compared to Canada it's about it's probably about I, I want to say 10% cheaper but because the tax in Canada is a lot higher and also the tax in Hawaii is lower it's it's basically 4.7% versus 12% I still end up saving about the tax amount to buy these here versus buying them in Canada where I live so here's another ready to wear that I wanted to buy since last year so they have the exact same design as last season this pair of shorts they had it last season they had it this season or was it two seasons ago anyway they had the exact same shorts because I have the long I actually have these in the pants version I got it in black because they ran out of the, of the shorts um, but I really wanted the shorts because I feel like this material is perfect in the shorts and they are so so well cut and everything and white is nice I wanted black but <laughs> white is still really nice I do like white um, I just have to be a bit more careful when I wear the white but yeah I'm so glad that I was able to grab this here since they always literally they always sell out of my size in Vancouver and these are 1225 US really really nice love these shorts last but not least which is in this really cool dust bag this is my first time getting a Garmin bag from Almez. I love the bit of white but I also like that it has a lot of um, Shendong everywhere and it's just so versatile it's a little casual but yeah it's the perfect layering piece and it's good for the summertime when it's a little cooler and it's also nice to wear during the colder months as well so this was 2125 and yeah that's my almez haul in hawaii i know no bags unfortunately but hey you never know we're still here for the rest of the week hopefully I'll get a call or something but regardless I would have bought these things back at home anyway and they had it in my size which you know kind of had to get it because I would have bought these anyway so I hope you enjoyed this Hawaii Waikiki edition of Elmez unboxing this is a huge bag guys huge orange bag and before I let you go, I'm just going to give you a glimpse of Can you see a glimpse of the ocean right there? Yeah, this is our balcony, but this is our room. Logging in our hotel room. And this is the hallway where the vanity and the washroom is. That's today's unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Did I introduce myself? I'm Amy, by the way. If uh, you haven't already subscribed, please do. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.